Give it up for Travis Grant! Yeah. Whoa! -ho. Yeah! Yeah, check this job out, right? This is cool. No, it's not. It's, uh, <laughs> A good friend of mine actually came up to me. He's like, hey, what would you rather do? Would you rather bomb on stage or fall down a flight of stairs and break your arm? I said fall down the flight of stairs. He said, why? I said, because at least after I fall down the flight of stairs and break my arm, I don't have to sit around and hang out with the flight of stairs after. <laughs> you know, like nothing ever happened. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. I just recently started going out with this girl. Right. And it's, uh, she thinks this is the coolest career. She this is like so cool. And I'm just, I'm wondering if she'll still think I'm cool after she finds out that I'm not also uh, in finance. <laughs> <laughs> Send the wrong message. Yeah. I feel bad, I don't want to do that, I do that a lot. I don't want to be that guy. I was going to a bar recently, uh, a good friend of mine, he says hello to me. He's very outwardly gay. He sounded something like this. He was like, oh my god, Travis, where have you been in my life? <laughs> I went to go dap him up, but his girly voice kind of crossed my wires. I got frazzled. I didn't know what to do. So just, and I kissed him on the lips. <laughs> It was bad, dude. It was <laughs> oh, man. It's going to make it awkward. Our anniversary is on uh, September 11th. It's going to make it real weird. We go out to dinner next year. Like, hey, can you send over some candles? We're kind of celebrating something big. <laughs> she just, ah, right into my heart, you know? <laughs> Never forget, though. Never forget. It was 15. Go. What do you mean? Okay, that killed the room. <laughs> we'll get back on track, don't worry. Oh uh, man, I'm trying to find new hobbies, you know what I mean? I'm trying to find new shows to watch. I started watching old ones. I started watching that show Pick My Rod. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I can't watch it for too long though, because Exhibit comes out of nowhere. It's just like, hey yo! Yo, we just hooked you up! Painted your car sparkly blue! Vending machine in a gerbil cage in the back seat. <laughs> like, thanks, that you just ruined my fucking car. <laughs> Nothing to do with this thing now. Oh my god, I'm not really big into politics though. I didn't keep up. I didn't keep up with the politics at all this year. Uh, actually, the first time I voted for something was this election. I went, went there with my mom, right when we get there, she thought it was a big idea. She, you know, she was just like, this is his first time, and he doesn't know what he's doing yet. You give him the space that he needs. They're like, is he retarded? Or? It's a matter with your son. <laughs> It was funny how they said uh, Trump had to rely on the Hispanic vote to win the election. I was like, that's like crashing on somebody's couch and then asking them for a ride home in the morning after you peed on the couch. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's just forget about all that mess, you know? Oh, man. Yeah, no, girlfriend now. Girlfriend. She, uh, she came up to me with something weird. One of her good guy friends sent her a dick pic. Mammoth cock. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, I can't believe you would do this. We went out to a bar that weekend, we see the guy. She's like, go up and say something to him. Do a comedian on him. I was like, hey. He's like, do I know you? I was like, it's Tori's boyfriend. Whole face went white. I was like, that's a very impressive penis, sir. All right, guys, this is my time. My name's Travis Grant. Thank you so much.